Hello. Hi. How's everybody doing today? Hope you're having a great day. It's fucking Monday, baby. Hope you don't have those Monday fucking blues. Otherwise, I'm going to have to blues clues your brains out. That's mean. I don't know what that means. Blues. Shut up, Brendan. I don't know what that means, so... I wish I knew what that meant. God, I wish I could brain... I want to ride the monster. Like you would ride a horse. Look, we got... I mean, come on. Look at Minty. Look at Minty and tell me that there's not a god. Come on now. I, yeah, I, 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 I blow... I, I, I bum my bingus off camera. Don't worry about it. My, the bingus has been absolutely boated. Lamp? Rope oil? Bombs? You want it? It's yours, my friend. As long as you have enough credit. Sorry, Link. I can't give rupees. Aw, oh, fuck. Thank you, boy. Thank you, yeast. Everybody say thank you, yeast, for making rock real. This is just how- this is just how Minty looks. What are you- what are you jealous of, Minty, my boy? Ah, uh, yeah, you wish you were as fucking fresh as this guy, huh? Yeah, I bet it keeps you awake at night, huh? Bet you're fucking sleeping in your bed going, oh, fuck, I wish I was- I wish I was as sweet and nice and cool as Minty, but no. Oh, uh, no, sorry. We ran out of funny pills. You're gonna have to take normal pills from now on. Oh, no! Anything but that! If I- well, I mean, here's- here's option A. I take funny pills. I'm disastrously hilarious, but I feel really bad all the time. Option B, I take my normal pills, and I feel better, but then, I mean, the bad part about the normal pills is I'm no longer disastrously funny and I have to go work as an accountant. That's what the mask is! I thought- what was it? Matt Watson did, like, a video Oh, uh, egg, gold egg! I just want to fight. I'm stealing eggs to f start my fucking fight club. But yeah, I mean, like, um, it sucks. I, Matt Watson did, like, a fucking weird song on Twitter that I really liked, where it's, That's Damascus! That's the capital of Israel- or Syria! That's Damascus! <laughs> uh, no, I can order Mr. Beast's burger. I fucking love my wife. I can order Mr. Beast's burger because I think Red Robin now offers, like, uh, uh, Mr. Beast's Big Boy Burger bi Big Beautiful Ride. Uh, they don't have the Dream Burger there, though. I looked. What are the burgers they have? Let me go on DoorDash. It's gone off my DoorDash. They took away Mr. Beast's Burger from me. They said, no more Mr. Beast Burger, bud. Oh, now I'm looking at DoorDash. I gotta stop. Oh, no, there it is. Right there. I see it. Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast Burger. Brendan's lost it. Lost it. Now I haven't even found it. <laughs> yeah, d oh, did you know they made Mr. Beast real? Oh, fuck yeah. Long necks. He's dead. Oh. He's, he's gonna die too. Not Minkle doesn't even get to attack. Yeah, me and my boy. Oh, you and my boy. All right, cool. Fuck yeah. I'm ass aptonauts are docile, except for mine. Mine's gonna be a killer. This is like making a Baidu for murderer. What if making a murderer, the documentary, was about a Baidu from Pokemon who killed like 15 people? Be fucked up, right? Aw oh, man, you hear this Baidu killed 15 people. Why aren't there serial killers in Pokemon? Really, Nintendo's gotta get Game Freak and Nintendo really gotta get on that like adult grind for the Pokemon world. They really gotta figure out that people want real adult content, and they want, like, a procedural crime show that is- that is based in Pokemon. Just watch the Dorkly animations. If I watch Dorkly, I die inside. D -d watching Dorkly willingly is akin to being dead. Ah, bro, what if Mario smoked weed? Yo, but what if Mario and Luigi smoked weed? Oh, shit, you right. Fuck, how could I possibly fucking forget? The, 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 the sincere comedy that occurs when Mario and Luigi smoke weed. What if Link broke a pot and there was a guy in the house who was mad that he broke a pot? What if when Mario jumped on a Goomba, he fucking killed the Goomba? Wouldn't that be fucking insane? Oh man, what if Toad from Mario like killed Princess Peach and wore her skin? because he loved Mario so much. What if Yoshi, like, what do Yoshi's eggs smell like? Come on now, dorkly. What if Peach was made entirely of sand? That's a new, <laughs> a new idea for Mario enthusiasts. If Peach was made entirely out of sand and lived in a people castle, wouldn't that be fucked up or what? <laughs> what does that mean? That's a real, real creepypasta. 
I woke up one day with my hyper-realistic eyes, finding myself quite full of mirth and happiness. I was also full of bone marrow. And one thing that I forgot is that I wasn't at home. I was lying in the middle of a beach. <laughs> that sneeze is part of the story, write that down. That and this are also part of the story, write that down. Uh, when I awoke, the ocean was beautiful and in view. And I looked at the sand that was underneath my fingers. In the distance, there was a large figure looming. It was a giant naked man with his mouth agape. He was wearing a crown and he was laying belly down on the beach. When I looked closer at the sand, I saw that each individual grain of sand was not actually rock, but small people, miniature wriggling people. I was terrified. I looked up at the giant mouth and something came out of the giant mouth. It looked like Princess Peach, but she was made of sand and she had human eyes. This was the worst day of my life and I will never forget it. There you go. Welcome. I can, I can create scarier creepypastas than anybody. A oh, Russian sleep experiment? Oh, have you heard about the people castle? Have you heard about sand people living in people castle? Huh? Bro, the beach is made of people. Scary as hell. As honestly, I like, I, th I think that's going to be the new Fall Out Boy album. People made of sand living in castles made of people. Ah, uh, fucking stomped on his head. Wait, surprise, what the fuck do you mean surprise attack on me? I jumped on he head. The fuck? Oh, yeah, sorry. That was a bit of a surprise. No, it fucking wasn't. That was a surprise attack on them. I jumped on they head. What if Fall Out Boy made a song about Fall Out? Oh, that'd be so sick. He could be like, Fall Out is cool. I hate Todd Howard. He is a fool. Welcome to Fall Out. Oh, that'd be so sick. What if Fall Out Boy teamed up with Panic at the Disco and they called it Panic Boy at the Fall Out Disco? Oh, what if Big Iron but with but by Fall Out Boy? If Fall Out Boy did Big Iron, it'd be called I have a quite big gun at my hip and that's not a term for penis. That's a term for an actual gun that's at my hip. That'd be the name of the song. Why do songs nowadays always have to imply sexual innuendos? No, it, songs have always been about sex. I don't know what you're talking about. Songs have always been about sex. Always. We're talking like 30s and 40s and 50s. We're talking like the 1700s. Sex has been around for a very long time. Songs are always about sex. That's one of the core themes of songs. Were they better about hiding it? Yeah. Like, I, it, they were better about like not just explicitly saying they were about sex. I mean, Sonic Sunshine is definitely an innuendo. Can you feel the sunshine? Sunshine stands for cock. Everybody's supersonic racing is talking about an orgy. Everybody's supersonic racing. Something, something, feet right on the ground. Everybody saw seesaw. Oh, why did I say that? Fucking die, Brendan. Can't wait for Among Us. What? Oh, fucking. Uh. I always just like want, like, I don't know. I just want fat out of shape Sonic. That's all I want is a fat out of shape Sonic who's like fucking depressed. Like the beginning of Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, but it's Sonic and it doesn't end. And he's trying to collect rings to pay child support. And it ends with him and Amy like re reconciling, but not getting back together, staying separated and working on their marriage. That's the kind of Sonic game I want, right? Is he also an alcoholic? Yeah, like one of the major parts of the game is a mini game that takes you to Alcoholics Anonymous. AA meetings for Sonic. You know, there's like a whole like economy on TikTok for people who buy cheap toys and just like open them in 30 second videos, like five to 10 videos a day. And it just, they keep getting into my TikTok feed and I don't want to see them anymore. I wish there was a way I could just ban them. Also, like there are a lot of people on TikTok. I, I've realized the economy on TikTok is if you get one popular video, you just keep making that same video over and over again with no difference except the clothes you're wearing. You just make the same video. You just make the same video. TikTok is like a, a, a content paradox. I feel like TikTok, browsing TikTok is interesting to me because it's like having a never ending panic attack. Oh, bug. What if I just fucking ate it? What if I just munched it? I just put it in my maw and masticated it. Elf. Oh, it's a fucking elf. Fuck off, ya elf. Fuck off! Fuck you! I didn't mean it. Get off me. I actually came to see Guardian Ratha. 
Oh, you're fucking British, in, are you? Oh, you fucking elf, are you? Oh, you come from fucking Cheswick. Oh, you hear about the fucking game last night? Oh, shit. Oh, rat. It's Chonday. Oh, my God. This is just like Pokemon the Coliseum. I have to suck the darkness out. Oh, fuck. Triple bite. No. Oh, he's got the Z crystal. He's going to use the... Oh, my God. He's going to use his Z attack. His Z move. Remember how they were like, mega evolutions. Oh, fuck. Fucking uh, Z moves. Uh, I don't fucking make them big. Fuck the Pokemon competitive scene. Fuck off. Pokemon competitive is fucking boring. It's all the same five fucking Pokemon. I'm just, I'm just so, I, I don't mind the Pokemon games. I just fucking am like so, I've always hated Pokemon competitive. Just from like a, it sucked all the fun out of Pokemon for me when I was in college. Because the guys who liked Pokemon had their own fucking league and they wouldn't shut the fuck up about Eevees and Ivies. I don't think competitive is, like, terrible. I think it's really interesting. Um, I just think that I was involved with some dudes who just literally that's all they cared about. And I just wanted to trade Pokemon and talk, like, have a good time. I was just like, oh, yeah, I got I got uh, X and Y. Let's just talk about Pokemon. I, I want to figure out stuff and maybe, like, trade and battle for fun. And then I battled one of those dudes. And they just destroyed my entire team with their first Pokemon. Like, oh, yeah, I got perfect Eeveeyeebees. Give me egg. I will eat egg. What if it's like the next morning and you just see the fucking cat with a big frying pan cracking open the big, like, Rathalos egg and just eating it, turning it into a big omelet? Time for omelet. It is omelet time, ladies and gentlemen. First, I get the egg, then bread, milk, and cheese. All essential parts of an omelet. Hug! Oh! What is she just... Ooh, there it is. What? When I fucked up saying beg, 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 and, and, and cheg? Look at that fucking pudgy bird. Enemy spotted. There's gonna be so much porn drawn of that cat. There's gonna be so much porn drawn of that cat. <sighs> Nothing is sacred. Do you know how much porn there is of, like, Morgana from Persona? Just, it, just, just, just seeing it around online. I want to go look at that boy eating tree stars. Where's that boy eating tree stars? I seen him. Oh, look at that boy eating motherfucking tree stars, baby. A Palumu? I want one of those. Fuck yes. Baby, give me a fucking Palumu. Look at him eating tree stars. Look at this boy. I fucking appreciates this boy. Look at him eating his fucking tree stars, bitch. Shut the fuck up about donuts. I fucking love donuts. Shut the fuck up. Well, even my character is like, fucking stop. Me, me when I make a joke. Me when I make a joke and repeat the joke 11 times. Oh no, my boy. Oh shit, my boy died. Wake up, boy. Come on, Dumpy. You got real moxie, Dumpy. Not Dumpy. Stop killing Dumpy. Dumpy, please live. Dumpy, no, don't. Why Dumpy? Poor fucking Dumpy. He's not ready to fight. Dumpy just has to learn good and be better and more good. Er. And Dumpy will get there, I promise you. If anybody's going to be able to get to that, that peak performance level, it's going to be my fat Dumpy. There we go. That looks like a, a fucking Lumu egg. Let's go. Stinky. Run, 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 run. I got a stinky egg. Get out of here with this stank egg. Yeah! I want a fucking- I want a Palumu. I love Palumu. The stench on this fucking egg. This egg's real stinky. That's a premium egg. That's how you can tell an egg's real good. That's how you know an egg is uh, in its prime. Bop this boy open! Yes. Yes! Name it Sheldon. No, it's Alfred. Dumpy. Alfred. Ranmar. All the boys are here. Nah, no, nah, no, it's Alfred. Because he looks like Alfred E. Newman from Mad Magazine. Acting like you don't know what Mad Magazine's Alfred E. Newman is. And Alfred E. Newman from Mad Magazine. He says, what, me worry? I'm like, I'm really tempted to DoorDash a Mr. Beast Burger, but it's going to be like way more money than I want to spend. Well, I think Red Robin prepares for the Mr. Beast Burger now. Red Robin is like a fucking uh, place where you can buy those now, so. Oh, thank you for the five gift subs, Depressed Club. I appreciate that. <laughs> I did this to fund your Mr. Beast. Oh, okay. Let me see how much it's going to cost. Going to make me fucking buy a Mr. Beast burger. I'm going to order the, the Beast style burger combo then. I'll get the Mr. Beast burger with Beast, beast styled fries and a Coke. ASMR eating stream win. I didn't even want to order this burger. I only did it because somebody gifted five subs and I was like, fine. I hate that I'm doing this because this is just, I'm just, it's just a germ a bit. Eating food on stream is a germ a bit now. 
words. Bullshit! No, nobody's eaten on stream before Germa did it. Nobody has ever eaten on stream. Germa did it, now everybody eats on stream. I used to get people complaining about me when I ate on stream. Like if I was streaming and Shelby made dinner and I ate on stream. It's the weirdest fucking thing. Stop eating on stream. It's like, oh, well, okay. I guess I'll just like leave. Bye. Oh man, Devin's on his way. Devin's on his way with my Mr. Beast burger now. Invite Devin to the stream. No, I'm not inviting Devin, my DoorDasher, to the stream. Don't call me a coward for not doing it either. I would invite Devin in. My my living room is a mess, so no. That's the only reason Devin isn't going on stream. Uh, sit down, Devin. No, no, come in. Come into my office, Devin. No, sit down, Devin. Nice to meet you, Devin. Devin, thank you for the burger, Devin. DoorDash Devin brings me burger. Thank you, Devin. How polite of you, Devin. Sit down, Devin. Devin, would you like a- would you like me to pat your head, Devin? I open the door and scream, DoorDash Devin! That'd be rude as hell. I'm not that kind of guy. DoorDash Devin has brought me... the gift. Was Devin hot? Oh, Devin was normal. Did you skin Devin? No. Oh! We got us a Coke. Like a bottle of Coke, nice. Alright, let's- Ooh! Bro! Look at that. Look at that packaging. Oh, the fries. Oh, man. Mr. Beast's burger? Make some space on my desk here. Let's try that Coca-Cola first. Mmm. I want to try that. Let's, let's... Oh, fuck. That's a Coca-Cola. Mmm. I can feel my teeth disintegrating. Oh, did Devin recognize you? No, people don't recognize me. What are you talking about? What the fuck is ew? What ew? This is the fries. I fucking hate pickles. Why would you put pickles? Why? What the f why are there pickles on my fries? Ew, okay, that's gross. Well, luckily, this is why we bust out. This is why I, bu I bust out the- I, I'm gonna bust out one of the Mucha Lucha paper plates for this. How old are those plates? Pretty old. First opened by me. Alright, let's check that burger. Ooh, good sign. It comes in a little- it comes in a little bur It's got pickles on it. Fuck you. It comes in a little burger sheath. It's got its own little burger sheath. There were no options to say no pickles. I don't know why people like pickles. They're fucking gross. Oh, these fucking pickles. Nope. Oh, uh, it, it came in its own box and everything. I'll see. I'll take a bite. Hmm. <laughs> That's a burger, yeah. Pretty good. Uh, ooh. Oh! The sauce has a tang. That's a nice tang. It's a tang sauce. It stays. Really? Mm -mm. <laughs> the flavor's not going away. Go away. The flavor persists. Why does the flavor... I'm curious. Why? It's like it got stuck on my tongue. It's not mustard. It, 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 I've never had flavor, like, persist. Maybe the Coke removes... Maybe the Coke is to wash down the flavor and the gaming. That was really good. Aside... The flavor persists. I don't like that. It's overwhelming. It's like a like a salt or a spice. That's like overwhelming me. The flavor persists. Mr. Beast, thank you for your persisting flavor. Because that flavor persists. It's like a persisting tang. Red Robin just sells Mr. Beast burgers through DoorDash. Straight up. I saw that Red Robin is offering Mr. Beast burgers. They even have their own packaging. It's fucking weird. So I was like, I want to get a Mr. Beast burger. So I got a Mr. Beast burger and I'm eating them off my Mucha Lucha plates. <laughs> the bun's whatever. I'll be I'll be up front. The, the bun is like a Walmart bun. The bun's whatever. I don't care about the bun. The meat is decent. I prefer a little pink in my burgers. I like them. I like them rare, medium rare. This one be all the way cooked through. Eh. I like blood. I like bloody burgers. So it's not quite my thing. Well, somebody in chat donated five gift subs to pay for it. So it was a $25 order. 
It was like 12 bucks. But with DoorDash, it was double that because fuck DoorDash. The garbage company. I feel like after eating a couple bites, it no longer persists. The flavor stops to persist after a couple of bites. Let's try the fries that are dipped in fucking pickles. I don't know what it is with people's pickle obsession. Yeah, these are just Red Robin fries. Ew. Yeah. That tea. Yeah. <laughs> Throw those away. <laughs> nope, those go in the trash. Fucking awful. <coughs> oh. Oh. Oh, those suck. Those are so bad. The burger was fine. I bit into a fry and it tasted like garbage. The fry, the first two fries were fine. The third fry I bit into, garbage. Like if you have ever smelled trash, it tastes like a fucking dumpster. It, I, it tasted like a dumpster. Vile. All right, official rating. The Coke gets a seven out of 10, all right? The Coke gets a 7 out of 10. The burger, the first few bites of the burger, the first few bites of the burger get like an 8 out of 10, all right? The second half of the burger is like a 5 out of 10. I don't know what it was. The first couple bites in that burger were really fucking good. Second half of the burger was okay. It was eh. Fries, negative 10. Mr. Beast fucking fries, awful. They were fucking awful. I don't know if that was because I got them from Red Robin. I don't know if that was just, just, I got very unlucky. It tasted like garbage. It had pickles, ketchup, mustard, and onions on the fucking fries. Listen, I don't mind chili cheese fries. I don't mind chili cheese fries. The burger, fine. The Mr. Beast burger, fine. Get the burger. Yeah, pickles, ketchup, mustard, onions on the fries. It was fucked. It was fucked. The burger though, The first couple of bites. The fries were fucking awful. They awful. That was the Mr. Beast Burger review. Don't eat there. Or at least, I, I don't know, if you're gonna go to Mr. Beast Burger, get it from the fucking Red Robin. I mean, the burger was fine. The burger was fine. The, the first couple bites of the burger were really good. All right, no lie. The first couple bites of the burger were really, really good. Everything afterwards was me uh, mediocre. Maybe I should have gotten a more specialized burger or something from the, the Mr. Beast. Hopefully he doesn't like fucking, I don't know, it, it should, like come to my house and try to make me a burger himself. I'm gonna wake up one of these days and it's gonna be a fucking psyop by Mr. Beast. He's gonna be sitting there going, "So you tried my burger, huh? You didn't like it, I heard. How about um, how about you uh, yeah, try it again. This time uh, this time I'm gonna watch you. Try it again. Yeah, it's just not. Oh, uh, the fries that were awful, awful. I usually have pretty low expectations of fries because I don't think anything's been good ever since Wendy's changed their fry formula. I don't think I've liked any fries since Wendy's went and changed their fries. But I, I just, I, I'm not impressed. All right, not impressed. Mr. Beast, not impressed. Carl's Jr.'s fries, Carl's Jr. and Hardee's fries are pretty bad. This was worse. I ate Hardee's like a week ago, right? I was like, their fries are bland. Those Mr. Beast fries made my stomach hurt. I've never had fries have such a horrible effect on my body. Blame Mr. Beast on Twitter. I'm not gonna do that shit. I don't want to deal with it. Globules of mustard on a bland potato. Mmm. I just, I don't, I, why? Here's my problem with people. I don't like the only fries that I think you should put anything on before serving are chili cheese fries. You should never, ever put ketchup and mustard and pickles on a fry. I'm not a fucking food magician, all right? I'm not. I'm not a food magician, okay? But I understand that you should never put fucking shit on fries unless it's chili and cheese. Cheese and bacon are also fine. But the thing is, is you know that they're gonna get soggy no matter what you do. I'm not letting my fries get soggy for fucking ketchup. Curry also probably would be really good. Not for ketchup and mustard though. 
That's why you dip them. Ketchup and mustard are for dipping. You dip them. You don't put them on top of the fries. You don't pre-allocate the amount of fucking ketchup and the amount of fucking mustard you think I need. You don't assume you know my eating food good the better than me. And that's why I don't like that shit. And pickles. Why the fucking fuck of all fucking fucks would you put pickles on top of fries? I don't like pickles at all. I didn't know that the fries, you know what the options were for the fries? Seasoned or unseasoned? I, in, the, in, the, in the image that I looked at, it didn't look like they were covered in anything. Am I just a crazy, did I just get like a, like a really fucked up Red Robin? Who just decided to like go out of their way to fucking break Mr. Beast's back? The Coke is really good though. I haven't had a Coke in a while. Uh, I'm liking the Coke. I'm really, I'm quite enjoying the, I haven't had a Coke in a while, so it's really refreshing. The best part of waking up is Coke in your cup. Maybe Devin, maybe Devin did this. DoorDash Devin. DoorDash Devin. Dastardly DoorDash Devin. DoorDash Devin out here looking like a member of my audience, but is it? I was worried because I thought I, all right. When I think that people know who I am, they give me the eyes. And I thought I saw the eyes. I was like, no. I'm gonna leave before they are the eyes, just in case. DoorDash Devin out here fucking like, bringing me this shit. Brennan, there's gonna be a Reddit entry about how much of a fucking meanie you are. I wasn't mean to him, I said, hey, thanks, man. That was it, all I, all I did was I said, oh, hey, thanks, man. <laughs> yeah, imagine somebody like, ah, oh, I recognized your address. Cause you're the funny Mountain Dew man. Thanks, dude. Thanks for the Mountain Dew. Cool, can I come in? No, no, you can't. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's, it's, uh, put that up on Yelp for Mr. Beast Burger. I like the burger. I like the Coke. The fries suck shit. Get better fries. I don't know why more places don't do shoestring fries. Like a big bag of shoestring fries. Right? I think my most amazing experience with DoorDash was this really overweight lady who dropped off. I ordered like pancakes from Perkins because I wanted pancakes, right? And um, she drove up into my like, not in my driveway, but like in the parking lot for my apartment building and sent her like eight-year-old, nine-year-old child with my food order up to the door. Instead of getting out of the car and bringing it to me, she gave it to her child and sent her child to get it to me. I was like, um, hi. Yeah, my mom says, my mom says this is for you. I was like, oh, okay, thanks. Do you get to keep the yeah, free child? No. I just, I, I don't have terrible experience with door dashes. I just don't like to get them because they're fucking pricey. Mr. Yeast Burger, am I fucking right? Mr. Yeast Burger, baby. <laughs> well, you do use yeast to make the bread to make the burger in your head. Yeast is necessary for burger creation, for yeast lets you create the bread. You're not right, you're right. Got a good bread on my shoulders. <laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs> I'm not just loafing around. <laughs> <laughs> I can slice it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna get off. Uh, not like get off, like get off. You know what I mean? I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop streaming for the day. So thank you for coming. I appreciate you. Uh, hope you have a good rest of your fucking Monday. I'm gonna go digest this beast burger and these beast fries and this beautiful beast Coca-Cola, and uh, I'm gonna get out of here. So uh, goodbye.